what I've got is just David Joe. Uh, it's been a good couple of months since I've done anything like this, especially on any vault. I've been more packed on doing reaction videos and stuff lately, so if you want to check them out, check them out. But I've quit doing the reactions on this channel, mainly due to the fact that I've lost uh, the, what's the word, like, the need to do these sort of things as well, which is, to be honest, some of my best stuff. I like doing this sort of stuff, so... Obviously, to stop the conflict with other fans joining my stuff, like fans of the reaction videos and thinking, oh, this this stuff's kind of boring. I made a new channel called Jack That Back, so if you didn't catch the announcement video and you're watching this thinking, this is not the stuff I'm used to, please go to youtube.com and type in Jack That Back. No spaces, and you'll see me reaction content on there because I've, up, I've basically made a new channel based on reaction videos called Jack That Back. So if you want to check them out, and check me out doing the normal stuff for you guys, the new guys, which are the reaction videos. Please go to that channel because this one won't be doing them anymore. But anyway, yeah, welcome back to any any people that have actually stuck along for all this fucking change. Because I haven't uploaded a, a, a gameplay video since must have been about August or even before then. I've got I've still got recordings from my library that I'm, I've yet to release from July and stuff, man. And that's what July, August, September, October, four months ago. Literally, guys, I've, I've got four-month-old content just sitting about on the computer, which I was supposed to upload, but once I got the reaction video out, I actually uploaded my first reaction video on here because I had no other ideas to do content. And I thought, right, well, something quick and something that people are going to like. So I've done a reaction video, not expecting it to pop off the way it did. And when I uploaded it, everyone was asking for more of them, so I kind of, like, forgot about the, the commentaries I was supposed to do. Because I was more focused on trying to get as many videos out as I could. Knowing I had a new audience and people are subscribing in droves. So that's why I uploaded a lot more reaction videos. And to be honest, pretty much 90% of my videos that have been uploaded in the past couple of months have been reaction videos. But I'm back to the normal NA Vault now. I still thank all the fans for subscribing. And if there's any younger fans that happen to watch the reaction videos that are fans of this as well. You can stick around, but if not, like I say, go to Jack that back because that's the channel that's going to be uploading them from now on. But anyway, God, what's been happening the past couple of months? Because I haven't really had a chance to chat. Um, well, I've got a partner now, I've got a girlfriend, but uh, as far as like mentally is concerned, I've obviously, see, I'm a roller coaster, I mean, like I go through a lot of emotions and a, a lot more than what can be crammed into a five minute video because, well, a six minute video. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff that's been going on lately and I've said this so many times when I've been doing commentary videos but you know it's a scary situation when you deal with anxiety all the time and I've had to go back on my medication and stuff and go back go back on the medication I was on a few years ago like it's a weird thing man it's, it's I think the scariest part about anxiety and if anyone out there deals with it you'll understand what I mean um, when you take too many steps forward you kind of feel like you don't deserve it in a weird way, like I don't know really how, how else to describe it apart from that, like if things are going too well for me, I'll instantly think of something negative or something negative will come along to like basically like knock us back down to reality and it's a shame that my brain works like that but there's literally nothing I can do about it because even, even when I try to do it, like my brain's a weird thing, it's so powerful, like the dark side of my brain is so powerful and nine times out of ten, I'd rather just, like, back down from a fight with them and just deal with life the way it is. Like, as, as weird as this sounds, like, I think I, I, I was better when I didn't expect any good in my life. And that, that sounds depressing, I know, and it shouldn't be the way I live. And if I find a way to work around that and trying to say the positive out of every situation, trust me, I will. But I've tried all sorts of different things to try and find that, um, that, that, that avenue, that, that thing. That'll make us still stay positive and get through these uh, tried and tribulations, you know what I mean, get through them. But right now I haven't really got a solution or an answer and I think that's what the, the scariest part of anxiety really is for me. And obviously with depression on top of that, you get depressed at your own anxiety. So you're in this catch-22 constantly of confusion and anger and disdain, disgust, that you don't, your irritability. Like, this, Honestly, I haven't been this, this irritated in my life, and 
Yeah, I think it's it's really scary more than anything. It's because the unsurety of it. Like you don't know what direction you're going in in life, and you know it just it all adds up. Like I don't know where. That's just another thing, though. You don't really know where it comes from, because that's what kind of fuels you to, to make an enemy of yourself even more, because things are going so well and you kind of get taken aback by it. I always thought I was ready for pain because I've dealt with a lot of pain in my life, you know what I mean? I've, I've dealt with it constantly, so like when it comes to stuff like this happening when I'm happy, I, I, I'm used to being not in pain, if you know what I mean? Like, you get that used to like living a better life than what you used to and then when it hits you again you think fuck you don't know how to deal with it because you've got so used to living comfortable so i actually was better in a weird way when i was sad when i was clinically sad constantly because when something bad would happen i think oh it's just another one and what didn't hit as hard whereas if you if you start a new a new life or you you're going on a new venture and you're doing well for yourself you're not used to it you're not used to that inevitable failure Whereas, when you're constantly feeling like shit, it's normal for you to feel that way, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'll have to talk about that in another video because the game's ended. But anyway, as far as I'm concerned, I'm fine. I'm going to be back with these videos, so if there's any people that like this sort of stuff. By the way, this is Plutonium, so if you want to download Plutonium, it'll be in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.